bus company. This right here, this is Ocean Bus. Are we feeling excited? Yeah. Oh, that was a good reaction. I think we're gonna have real fun together. But, but well, my manners, I mean, I've got to introduce myself. My name is Ulle, which is an old Norse name, meaning family man. That's well, because I'm gonna be the one taking care of you all for this three hour long tour. We're gonna start here two hours on land and then yeah. one hour down in the water. <laughs> no, I'm just joking with y'all, we're gonna be spending one hour together, then we'll be back here safe and sound. First I'm gonna address our Swedish passengers, then I'm gonna return to you in English. So what, how many Swedes do you have in the middle of the day? I don't know, it's a lot of Jag har kommit att prata en hel del engelska med hänsyn till våra internationella passagerare. Men jag vet ju hur bra vi svenska är på engelska så jag tror inte det kommer bli ett problem. Samtidigt har jag ett ESC på svenska det var dubbelt så roligt och intressant att få rätt in i hjärtat på vad folk är på Så, right now we're standing on Ocean Bus Estelle, named after the Swedish Crown Princess. Oh, Mr. Crown Princess named after the boat. By the way, she's quite a heavy lady. She weighs about 10 tons without passengers. Uh, the bus, not the uh, Crown Princess. She's three and a half meters tall right now. And she's going to be two and a half when we reach the water in about 10 to 15 minutes. One of the funny things about this tour, except here we speak, of course, is the looks we get when we pass by Central Stockholm. Yes, I'm joking about you. Yes. There's no Trump sitting here in the front seat. Yes, I'm joking about you. 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 Yes, I'm joking about
Two guys met at a crayfish party in Kreftskiva. And after a couple of snaps, they drunkenly decided that they should build a car together. That car company's name today? Volvo. So, so was the studio plan, my dear friends and friends. I can't believe I'm a fabulous brick, influencer, brat, stinker, vasker, whisker, tricksam, eskanter. But you know, I'm not the one who's a brat or a stinker. Det är tyst han väl. En stekare kan ju steka sig i glansen för sina egen ihoptjänade pengar. Men sen Brett har ju lite mer pappa betalat än lite tid till det. To all left we are coming up to the yellow bin, which is the Royal Library, which opened up in 1877. And the building we see before us is not all that there is. During the 1980s, they expanded the Royal Library by building a large underbunker-like structure beneath it, five stories tall. Because, well, they need to house all its books because it's a library. But we have a law here in Sweden that says that every book published, one copy of it has to be sent to the Royal Library. It's an archive, you see, they're quite a large archive. So it consists of about 40% of the columns in green areas. And if our key to our left, we stop the oldest, second oldest one called the Lovely Gorda. That translates to hops, and what these hops are main ingredients are. Beer, of course, and that's exactly what they used to make here at Hopsland. Sadly, they don't do that anymore, and that's why we're not stopping to grab a few pints. So we're going to do an Earl of Hoop and Spoon, and it's here in Hoop. Stoppen grundades ju 1252, men vi har gjort en Earl of Hoop and Spoon, and it's here in the early 1200-tal. Vi har gjort öl i Hundregården längre i Stockholm av vatten i stan. Risken finns ju att Birger Jan kanske drack några pinsner innan han bestämde sig på grunda den här staden på Kalmar. Ja, jag kan det. Right now we're entering the residential area of Estenal. Öst means east, which means we're the eastern part of the city. This used to be Stockholm slum marriage, but in the late 18, early 1900s, they decided to shake the step up in more beautiful apartments with bigger windows and higher ceilings. Så Östermann, mina damer och herrar, lite finare, lite bättre, lyder det inofficiella mottot. Nu kan det vara fattigmansområden, det kallas lagårsgärdet, men det händer att man ju på i sen dag i Trädalena Träallén här till vänster är en av fyra man hittar i stad. På grusgången i mitten kallas ju folkmån för snobbränten. Just nu kör vi på Kalavägen, döpt efter de tre kala som fick någonting gjort. Kal i tionde, elfte och tolfte. So what kind of person lives around here at the Stockholm? Well, they might be described as quite a big characters. They like to go to the gym and address a lot. They drive big cars like SUVs and Mercedes. But where do they park? I don't see any large ugly parking structures around there. The fact is, they don't. As the is actually the place in Sweden where most parking tickets are issued every year. So go to the 2022, I say. Early Melissa Bitchum, a bitchy, a brilliant juncture, who sadly passed away way too soon in 2018, at just 28 years of age. 
to a left we are coming up on this island, high school, Westerari Yaw, the brown well, is in here. But the beach isn't the only celebrity who has lived around this past. For instance, Sweden's unofficial king, my official king, Staten Ibrahimovic, actually bought a Polish church a couple blocks down that way to our right. I think he will need the church to be closer to someone on his own level, his own opinion. Soon we come up on the biggest roundabout in the city of Karl of Law, where every Saturday there's a flea market which we will see. There's also a big fountain at the Karl of Law, so it's off the people of you, because that's when our students graduate here in the city. They have a nice to have to take a bath or two at the flower fountain. So he's taking some awful time to go to the viewing and all the rest of the day, the rest of the day. So that time we have to split up here and after the walk and not to dance. So we can try to all say if you can, we can start the night to heal love. To our left, we have a brown man, which is my famous director and screenwriter, Mar Bari Van Gisteren. Mar Bari was, of course, one of his main movies. For instance, his most famous one was Van and Alexander, who was in 1984. During his career, he was nominated for nine Academy Awards, and he won three of them. The latest week to win the Academy Award was the big year, the song in 2019, from music to the movie Mark Banta. The blue knows that there was a street very few set of the street very good in that city of the 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 city of Right now we are near the view, go out of the scratch they saw in New York, and that's because it used to be the king's royal hunting area. The royal family has owned the view of since the 1400s. In the 1700s, where the king called Father Father Frigid, who didn't really like to hunt it. I think it was bad at hunting, but anyway, he decided to open it up to the public. Since then, it's been a thriving destination spot in Stockholm, with over 50 million visitors each year. So we got to be one of those 15. The main bridge connecting Djurgården to Östermål is guarded by four Norse gods in statue form. Rig, Freja and the Marvel heroes four and I brought. inside a mountain and we were in a posh residential area so they didn't want to take up too much space. Bad well hell then you haven't had for service at all so for the young guests this is built in the new league did on Maria Ekia. So here too on left we have Bad Val Hall which is also on the go with construction right now. Currently we're driving on Dark Hamilton's road and he was a Swedish statesman and diplomat. John F. Kennedy called him the greatest statesman of the former century and was also United Nations General Secretary. Sadly, he died in a plane crash in the Congress in 1961. 
why am I talking about you? Well, we the different attic city too. All right, we have beautiful villas of different embassies. And to our left, well, we have maybe not the most beautiful embassy on the street, but the biggest one, the American embassy. And I think they didn't care as much about the embassy here in Stockholm, because they have an exact copy of that building as their embassy in Copenhagen. Maybe they got one of those two-for-one embassy deals. Vi har även bakom den amerikanska ambassaden, östtyska ambassaden. Där Bobo Holmström yttrade om kända orden. Lägg ut, lägg ut, lägg ut. Och då kan man få ordna ditt på FFF. I previously mentioned that Stockholm consists of about 40% of parks and green areas. And here to our left we come out of the park of Järnet, which is an old Swedish word for field, because that's what it is, it's just a big field. This is actually where our soldiers in all the days used to train for field battles. But today you will only see people as the month how we're walking around here. The times, they are changing as both the other said. Quiz. Which movie is this song from? Titanic! Titanic! And what might that indicate? <laughs> that we're gonna spend two hours falling in love, of course! <laughs> Okay, so before we go into the water, we're gonna do something they didn't do on the Titanic. Talk about safety. <laughs> and I'm gonna do this both in English and in Swedish. So if you don't speak another language, well, that's on you. First of all, we're not allowed to wear our seat belts in the water. For you who that put it on, good work, but now you have to take them off. And for you who didn't, well, you're supposed to wear seat belts on the bus, but now take them off, anyways. We have four emergency exits on this boat, one in the middle, two on the roof, and one in the front. But the one in the front is just for the captain. Nah, just kidding with y'all, it's just for me, no, yeah. for everybody. We of course have life jackets here on the roof, and when we go down into the water, there will be a bit of a bump, so I would advise you to hold on. You guys have this one, you guys have this one. So, we ska strax ner i vattnet. Det är väldigt viktigt att vi tar av säkerhetsbältena först och främst. Vi har fyra nödgångar, en i mitten, två i taket och en här framme. Jag har självklart flytvästar i taket om ni inte har sett dem. De ligger sådär lite cash och gömda. När vi åker ner så kan det kännas lite så jag skulle rekommendera er att hålla i er på ett sätt eller annat. I also see that a lot of you have your phones out. That's absolutely okay, but I would advise you to keep them inside the amphibious vehicles because I can't tell you how many phones we have there lying in the water. Now comes the important question. Do you want a big splash or a small splash? Huge! Well, I need a bit more coherent answer. Do we want Giant a big splash, splash or a small splash? Big yeah. splash! Well, Huge splash! Then, are we ready? Well, are we ready? Then three, two, one, let's go! Du har bare sendt video til mig. Go, go, part two! Du, 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 du. Ja. Ja, fint. Jeg lige har fået fint. Hvordan? Everybody okay back here, Allah Mugan? Perfect. <laughs> Thank you. 
lovely ocean, but Ian, with our captain Jonas and our guide, me, me to help. Do you know what the castle is? The ocean is called the water. Du skyder på vores hyb, det er der! Nej! Fuck! Hvad er det? Vi skal skyde mod de andre! Nej! Det er det, der er rundt! of Drunken Sailor, which asked an age-old philosophical question. What should we do with the Drunken Sailor? But here with the Ocean Bus, we made him captain. So we just touched down into the water. We're gonna talk about that in a few seconds. But first, a history lesson from five minutes ago. Remember I said this used to be the King's Royal hunting area? Well, we can still see signs of that here at you, Gordon. For instance, here to our left, we're coming up on a blue gate that used to be closed for hundreds of years, but, it now, but it's now open for us peasants. So, right now we're standing in Ocean Bus Estelle, and Estelle is in fact just a regular Volvo lowering that we buy brand new to 
United States where we have our friend John who's an expert on amphibious vehicles. At least according to himself. What he does, he removes the chases of the whole thing, puts in some ballasters, a bit of spare parts, a bit of duct tape, puts the chases back on, goes the whole thing in aluminium and now apparently we have a boat. The captain drives the whole thing with the joystick here in the front, which is connected because he likes to play PlayStation, which is connected to a rudder in the back. There's also a propeller which moves us forward. So Mr. Walton, he had barely hold of the last bit of each up in the front of his saw. Was that pick of it up here and eat? A little pick as the box eat or so. Pick of it up that much. So I take a flit up of that. And so we can quite look at it. You put that up here. You can tell that about pick of fantasy as that pick of the box. Well, love that. One of the questions which we get asked the most is what happens with the wheels when we're in the wheel? Do they turn inwards, like back to the future? Do we, do they turn upwards? Do we leave them at the pit one because we have an ask our pit crew that removes the wheels while I do the safety briefing? Well, the sad and honest answer is nothing happens with the wheels when we go into the water. They remain exactly the same. This is not a James Bond car. And no, it's yeah, not James Bond, they're driving it. So what happened with you when you walk in here after that? Frågan vi får ofta. Åker de inåt så tillbaka till framtiden? Åker de uppåt och lämnar vi dem i kajen så vi plockar upp dem sen vi ska tillbaka upp igen? Det tråkiga och ärliga svaret är att inget händer med hjulen när vi åker ner i vattnet. De håller sig exakt likadana. De har vi Stockholms renaste hjul, vilket våra kaptener är väldigt stolta över. Vi har dock inte Stockholms renaste kaptener, vilket vi guider är lite mer bestämda över. So here we are at New Garden, where you will find many museums in Stockholm. For instance, the Nordic History Museum, the Viking Museum, the ABBA Museum, my favorite, the Museum of Alcohol, the Captain's favorite. But one of the weird ones you will find here is the world's first outdoor museum of Skansen, where you can view all Nordic buildings and animals. And what sets Skansen apart is that every year since 1979, a TV show has been sent from there called Altsong to Skansen. Altsong translates to sing along, so it's a sing along show. So every Tuesday at 8 o'clock, we sweet sit down and watch this. I'm going to give you a bit of a taste of that might sound like. Don't be alarmed if any sweet starts to sing along. Seventy years of age, 
age and he decided to celebrate that by having a three day long party at the Nordic History Museum. And that's because the Nordic History Museum has the largest room in all of Sweden which doesn't belong to a church. And apparently you got party for three days straight at the church. He tried and he got kicked out. Next to it we see three big red masts. Well, that is of course the Stockholm's second most visited tourist attraction after Ocean Bus. It's the Vasa awesome Museum and it's 1.5 million visitors each year. And the red mast in the middle is 52 meters tall, as high as it was on the original ship Vasa. And that was kind of the Vasa ship's problem. She was too big, too narrow and weighted too much. Kind of like a dear own Ocean Bus. The year was 1628 and the 30 year war was raging down Poland. We had just finished this large warship and was going to send her down there. She departed from Royal Palace, which we'll see later, and right around the bed at the amusement park she tumbled over. She lay there for 300 years until a man called Anders Rassin found her in the middle of the 1950s and brought her up again. But that fact is yet stability at this program of us and our Lord for Turkey's land. 30 mansplank från sida för sida för att se hur stabil det är då. Efter tycka 10 var det vi behövde de avbryta för man såg att de skulle ramla på kurvan. Admiral Claes Flemming sa henne kan vi inte skicka ut en något krig. Men krigarkåren just under andra Adolf hade ju andra tankar. Och det var så att fick Skandinaviens första ubåt. Just den andra Adolf hanterade ju också att Vasa på ett väldigt intressant sätt. Han såg ju det hela hemma i gamla stav och då gick han direkt till valen gyllene freden. Och lik Vasa som skeppet körde han ju botten upp hela kallen. So we're gonna pass the second like smallest island on Castelholm, which just consists of a couple of trees, a tower and a Swedish flag on top of that tower. And that flag, well, it's an important one. It's meant to symbolize that Stockholm hasn't been taken by a foreign power for the 300 years. The flag at Castelholm has waved at every day since 1665. Uh, well, every day is kind of like it. It's waved at every day except on the 17th of May in 1996, when all of Stockholm woke up to find the Norwegian flag flying over Castelholm. What had happened had we been invaded by Norway all of a sudden? Well, the police would call, the military would call, what had happened? Well, no way Norway that we had been invaded. Apparently some drunken Norwegian foreign exchange students had climbed on top of Castellholm and exchanged the Swedish flag for the Norwegian to play a prank on us, but also to celebrate their national day of 17 of May. to our right Castell Holman and it's a golden flag is coming up. Which is not a Norwegian flag.
I'm gonna talk about one of the more famous ones, a uh, personal ginger hero of mine. I'm of course talking about the world's strongest gun of people, long stocking, which we can meet here to our right at Univacken. We can meet her and a lot of other ways and famous characters. Astrid Lindgren, of course, holds a special place in many Swedes' hearts since well, most of us have grown up reading her books, seeing her movies, and hearing the songs from those movies. That's not so strange. Astrid has actually sold only 150.